Hi, Grade 11s. Welcome to the Junior Takis program. My name is Gilebukhile Tlokwe. I'm originally from Hamanskral, but I'm currently residing in Johannesburg. And I am a proud Tux alumni. I graduated from the university in 2018. I would like to welcome you guys today as I will be engaging with you and sharing with you on our theme and topic of today, which is managing stress and anxiety. Stress is a response, be it physically or emotionally, to tension. So that's the moment when our body tenses up whenever it's in a, you know, a stressful or a challenging or a demanding situation where we need to, you know, kind of respond. And when we don't respond, we stay in that, you know, tensed up and uh, physically tensed or emotionally tensed uh, state. And anxiety, it's that nervousness that you get be it towards something that's coming or a circumstance, you know, maybe even a, a, a situation at home that's making you nervous and anxious. And it's something that you want to control, but you know, maybe the situation doesn't, it doesn't allow you to control it. You don't have that as much control as you would like, and that can make you anxious. And so stress and anxiety, firstly, it's not a bad thing at all. So obviously, if we don't manage our stress and anxiety, it can be bad, but it can be good because actually there is a study that was made that young people who don't grow up having experienced some form of stress or anxiety, they actually struggle in their adulthood. Why? That means that they didn't get to firstly be exposed to you know, a level of stress and anxiety that was managed. And secondly, they don't have the tools and they don't have you know, ways in which they can manage their stress and anxiety. For example, you know, coming from a background maybe that you are ashamed of or you know, um, embarrassed about, that can give you anxiety every single time. You know, um, maybe every single time that, let's say you visit a friend's house and you see that, wait, wait, my background and my friend's background are actually not the same. You know, and that can bring shame and it can bring feelings of, you know, comparison. And if this, if this anxiety or the stress is not addressed, you know, it, it can end up making you being a bit resentful, you know, and feeling that um, your life is, 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 is not that great. Or maybe your life is not even worth living purely because of this part of your life that's making you anxious. But it can be good because this can motivate you. This can be a motivating factor for you to make sure that I know that my background, you know, where I come from isn't something that is as great as I thought it was, but surely there's something I can do about it. I'm going to give you another example before I wrap up our intro uh, session. And that is if you know that there's a subject that's making you anxious, be it math, mine was math, be it math or science or whichever subject that you know. And I'm going to share that example with you where when I was in grade 11, I was struggling with math. I was struggling so much, but everything else that I was doing was so great that I was at some point, you know, chosen as part of the top 10 to go to Scotland, to visit the country of Scotland, to learn about the tradition and the history of our school. But this part of my studies, I felt so ashamed. I was so stressed about it. You know, I was even scared to even speak up in class to ask for help. But I just made sure that I get myself, you know, someone who can, who can help me. I surrounded myself with friends who knew maths better than I did. And they're the ones who helped me overcome this fear, you know, of not passing maths and, and eventually making it to university. And so, hence I'm saying stress and anxiety, if not managed well, it can affect you. And so, I'm going to share with you guys um, some tools and tips into our next uh, activation video and elaborate um, and share with you guys on you know, how I overcame this, this anxiety. Whereas actually in my grade 11 year, I did so well with my math, but when I got to matric, I didn't do well enough to get to um, uh, 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 the University of Witwatersrand. And uh, hence, I eventually ended up here at the University of Pretoria, but I'm going to share with you guys on that. So stay tuned for it. <laughs> 